for the 19. Eric Kippel starts today at quarterback for the Lions. And the defense he'll be looking at up front for the Chicago Bears. Orson of Dan Hampton, Steve McMichael, William Perry, and Richard Dent, perhaps the best in the business. At linebacker, we'll keep an eye on Mike Singletary today. Well, I can see out there that Ron Rivera is starting Mike Singletary's pool groin. Uh, apparently, they made a last-minute decision. Singletary will not play. And the veteran, veteran backfield group of the Bears. Offensively, for Detroit, along with Hipple, the rookie running back, Gary James, James Jones, Chadwick Bland, and Rubick are the receivers. And we might see Jimmy Giles, who they just picked up this week. Up front, Lomas Brown, Harvey Salem. Mott, Dorney, and Stringer. And the big thing to watch there is Lomas Brown. He'll be walk, um, blocking on Richard Dent. That should be a classic battle. A big matchup. Second and 10 now for the Lions. The ball is on the 19-yard line. Their very first possession. They pull again to throw. In trouble. Scrambles left and releases. Complete to Chadwick and then out of his hands. Incomplete. Past the 30-yard line. Reggie Phillips, the cornerback defensively. Well, it looks like the Lions are going to open up. That's two for two on the passing department, so they've decided to try and attack the Bears via the passing game on the outside. Actually, Rubik on that first play was, uh, was open. Had the pass been better, they would have had a big gain. So now, this is where the Bears like to have teams on third and long situation, and this is where Darrell Rodgers does not want his team third and long against the Chicago Bears. And against the Bears, you do have to take some chances. center. Herman Hunter in there now on third down along with James Jones. This is for Hunter, but it's short. Over Marshall, the linebacker out on the coverage. Pipple under big pressure. And the refrigerator, William Perry, was the man that was all over Hippo, rushing so that he couldn't make the pass very accurately. 72 coming right up the middle over there, Steve Mott, and comes through and puts the rush on Hippo, and he has to force the pass in a hurry, and so... The Lions will be forced to punt. Perry has been bothered by the knee. The only team in the National Football League with that mark. Not one they want. James picked up five. Second and five now for Hippo from the 29-yard line. Bears just jumped into their 46, their Bear defense. James Jones. Won't get a thing. William Perry slides over for the hit. We talked about how the Lions like to control the ball. And when they do and they run well, they win. 206 yards uh, as opposed to 87 yards. They've gone to the ground twice, and uh, now they have a third and five situation. It was uh, interesting to see how they came out through. And now they're in the third and five situation. Eric Hippo has been excellent the past few games. He completed 31 passes last week against the Rams, mostly of the short variety. On third and five, he's got Herman Hunter and Thompson in there, and he is nailed and fumbled. Touchdown, Bears, Wilbur Marshall. Wilbur Marshall on the blitz, and Hipple is still down on turf. He got to the uh, inside there, found the gap. Nobody blocked him, and Hipple didn't see him coming. The ball was jolted loose, makes the tackle, picks it up, goes in for the touchdown. It was all Wilbur Marshall on that play as Eric Hipple is still down on the turf. It looks like he is really, I think, maybe knocked out. Marshall got what linebackers love, Johnny, and no touch coming up through a gap. No one picked him up, and he hit Hippo full speed. And he has such great acceleration and uh, impact when he hits people. Uh, Hippo never had a chance on the play. These are the uh, nightmares of a quarterback. You can see he's looking off here on this side for the receiver, and he got through so quickly as there was a mess up in the offensive scheme there of the Lions uh, pass blocking, and... Uh, Marshall made the tackle and picked up the ball. That's what you call a double dip. You get 150 points for that one. He uh, did it all. Sensational. And, yes, and Hippo is still a little bit dazed. And Joe Ferguson getting ready to come in, and he is a quarterback who took a shot from Wilbur Marshall last year at the end of the season. Uh, Wilbur Marshall decked Joe Ferguson. 
on one of the more ferocious hits I've ever seen. So he may have to come into the game. And, of course, the Lions, what has happened to the Lions now, they're behind the Bears. This is what the Bears did a lot last year, not as much this year. And they get teams down, and then the defense uh, becomes uh, extra tough. As Wilbur Marshall gives us the wave, and he, uh, more than anybody else, uh, kind of misses Mike Singletary in there. But he says, hey, we got a lot of great defensive players. And he says, Mike Singletary, is, uh, uh, we're not going to be lost without him. He said, we're going to make up for it, and uh, we're going to do well. He was kind of defending the rest of the defense yeah. because uh, everybody in the media has said that. Do well. He was kind of defending the rest of the defense yeah. because uh, everybody in the media has said that uh, uh, Singletary is the heart of the defense, which he is in many respects, but they got a lot of hearts out there. Well, and, so, uh, up. and here's another look at the play that he got hurt on. And notice uh, Herman Hunter. He's 36 over there. He was helping out on the double over there, and Marshall came in on the inside and made the hit. In fact, they blitzed the safety, Dorson, yeah. over there, and mm -hmm. Hunter went and picked up the safety, and the linebacker came in untouched. Jones and James in the backfield. Exactly a man-to-man -man situation. The Lions are throwing on first down, and that's the way you, if you're going to have a shot at the Bears, that's when you've got to throw. But if you don't make it, then you're in big trouble. Pitbull now looks like he's calling an audible. It's second and ten. Blitz. Blitz is on. Pitbull's out of there, but he's in trouble. The ball is loose again. The rookie James falls on it for Detroit. And we'll see if it was blown dead before that. Hipple may have been called in the grass. No, they're going to call it down at the four-yard line. And boy, Wilbur Marshall, 58, he's like lightning. He timed the snap perfectly. Hipple saw him coming and said, I'm getting out of the way. Richard Dent, 95, is there. The refrigerator knocks the ball loose. And then it was kicked by Stringer, I think, accidentally. And then uh, the fight for the ball. They lose 27 yards on the play as Gary James recovered, and the Lions are in big, big trouble. Actually, they ended up having a block on Marshall. It was uh, James. Gary James did a lot on that play because he blocked Marshall and then made the recovery. But to no avail, the Lions are back on their own four-yard line. Jones and James. The remaining backs behind Hippo. This is the fullback Jones. He'll get a couple. Now, let's go to New York for an NFL update in Brent Musburger. Well, Wayne, we've got an upset brewing right up the freeway in Milwaukee. Here is Randy Wright and going to Mark Lewis. It's 14-0 Packers over the Niners. The Niners are at minus 10 total yards behind Mike Morosky. Back to Wayne Walker. Thank you very much, Brent. 7-0 here. The Bears leading. We're at the beginning of the second quarter. Second and 13 now for Detroit. Four-man rush for the Bears. But Hipple still gets cracked, and it was Dent. Looked like he came in underneath him that time, John. That's right. Uh, Hipple just stood right in there, didn't he? He wasn't going to move. He was waiting for the receiver to, to break open, and the Bears had good coverage down the field. Now, Dent will come from the uh, left side of your screen, and, boy, he just uh, really buried Lomas Brown that time. you got to give that one to Dent. Or do Lomas Brown, I think, got tripped up on some feet in there and dead over the top of him. Herman Hunter and Leonard Thompson in the game now for the Lions. Pipple to roll out. Mike Richardson defensively. Did he stay in bounds and make the interception? He did. Mike Richardson, the quarterback, with a great defensive play. Well, that was a super play by Richardson as the Lions elected to roll out away from the pass rush. And you'll see Bland on the going to the outside. Here comes Richardson, who had him covered all the way. And then the question is, did he get control before he went out of bounds? The officials say yet, yeah, and we will get a chance to see if you agree. He's got it now in control, and it looks like both. That's a tough call. Yeah. It's a tough call. Holds him to a short gain. Let's go now to New York again and Brett Musburger. Well, Wayne, the New York Jets go ahead of New Orleans on this touchdown pass. Ken O'Brien to Al Toon. 44 catches this year by Toon. He leads the NFL. And the 49ers have just scored in Milwaukee. That should go to 14-7. Let's go back to Wayne Walker. Thank you, Brent. Both of those games closing up. Seven points. For Detroit. The ball is on the five, and the crowd is getting involved here at Soldier Field. Play action. Knocked down and almost intercepted by Wilbur Marshall.